I think one of the reasons I find myself upgrading and downgrading in chain or even in bracelet size is the variety aspect. I like variety. I like to have options to switch up looks. It doesn't always have to be about the big neck profile presence of a big chunky Cuban, although it looks super fly. But somebody like me can't handle a big chain over 300 plus grams because it kills my neck. Even Ben Bowler back in the day when he built that huge California pendant with that huge Cuban on it. If you notice in some of the pictures, and I'll try to pull one up, he even admits he used to wear a rag around his neck with the chain over the rag because it used to put so much pressure on his cervical nerves that it got him lightheaded, massive headaches, the neck and shoulder pain after a couple of hours or even minutes of wear would just be super strenuous and I suffer from that same type of shit. So let's go and check out some options where keeping the same budget, if I could just rock multi chains or one big heavy chain to give me that look and that versatility that I'm looking for. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out some layers and stacks Big boys versus little boys, single versus multiples. I'm kind of a big deal. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to the U to the B to the A. So my latest purchase that you guys have seen already was my 14 karat gold, 11 millimeter, about 197 gram, 22 inch Miami Cuban link from DJI. Now this was the latest upgrade that I did for the chain because I had a 24 nine millimeter forever in a day and I still think it's a solid wear. Personally, I stick to my guns in saying that the seven millimeter width is perfect daily wear, pendant on, pendant off, whatever the case may be, still has a beautiful neck profile. I think seven millimeter is a great daily, but the problem with me upgrading, downgrading, changing all the time is as I mentioned on in the intro, versatility. I change often. This isn't a daily wear for me. 100 grams really isn't that much. So I don't complain too much this, but this is kind of the reason why I don't go above it. But it doesn't give me as much versatility as I want. So sometimes I wonder if I do multi smaller links, does it still give me that fly neck profile that I'm looking for? Well, let's find out. What I did was I borrowed three six millimeter, 24 inch Miami Cuban links with the box lock to see if I get that same big boy look, feel, and now have versatility because they're all individual. 14 karat gold, six millimeter inch, 24 inches in length. Gorgeous pieces. Six millimeter is right under that perfect point that I like. And I was just wondering like, if I just went this route, instead of wearing one big 11 millimeter, and that's not even big, one bigger size 11 millimeter, if I wear one big, which ain't really that big, 11 millimeter, 22 inch, if wearing three multiple that way, 200 gram 0.92 would give me the same look, feel, plus the versatility to reduce the weight at any point by just taking one link off. So let's just give it a shot, right? This is not gonna be a long video. This is just showing you guys different options that you can go about it. This is again, 11 millimeter, 22 inch, and this one weighs approximately 198 or 197. Here's the look beautiful neck presence, simplistic, a little bit of class. Although when you start getting in this size, the class kind of diminishes and it's more like, you know, just a flex kind of look. It's a beautiful piece, provides you the fire neck profile that you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Not too, not too shabby, boom, boom, nothing too crazy. Not the perfect t-shirt for the neck profile, but it gives you the look, the feel and the swag. And you have that singular piece that is just is what it is. However, if we go a different route, let's put on the three six millimeter pieces. Boom. So now we got three six millimeters. So that's six, 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 devil, 18 millimeter technically versus 11 millimeters at the same weight with more of a neck presence and the versatility to remove or add 
any more or any less depending how you're feeling. Now, since these are all individual, one of the best parts for somebody with a neck issue like myself is the displacement of the weight. The body with neck issues like myself is that this is localized and will hang on that cervical nerve right in that particular spot. Where this, if it starts to get uncomfortable at any point, you kind of could just manipulate them just to remove some tension off or just easily remove one and you could two chain it, giving you a 12 millimeter look still larger than the 11 millimeter at less weight, still giving you a fly neck look closer to the 11 millimeter at less weight, but still the same presence. So if we put them next to each other, you have that similar neck presence only with a multi as opposed to one. And let's talk pricing. So if I go on Daniel Jewelry Inc's website where these are from, a six millimeter 14 karat gold at 24 inches right now on their website is $3,665. So 3665 times three is $10,995 for these three chains at the same time. But Cuba, how much is the 11 millimeter? Is it cheaper? Well, let's do the quick math, shall we? Now remember, mine is 22 inches, so let's compare apples to apples and keep it at 24 inch. If we went for an 11 millimeter, 24 inch, we're talking $10,380. So $10,380 for the 11 millimeter, $10,995 for the 18 millimeter. Same weight though, almost, as these are slightly heavier than mine. So we're talking a difference of 615 bucks, essentially, to get this versatile look, all handmade Miami Cuban link with the box lock. You don't have to go curb, you don't have to go rope, you don't have, whatever, you don't gotta deviate from what you're looking for. If you're looking for Miami Cuban link with a box lock handmade, you can get that look for $615 more, well, actually a bigger look for $1,615 more than a 11 millimeter. I think this look is something that people can consider, at least for me, it's stylistic, versatility, and you know, kind of medical to some extent, cause just the weight factor. I'm still getting that, but I can always keep a sexy look or keep a fly look, remove one or two, maybe throw a pendant on one of them. So I went from that three chain look, we could do a tucked in neck profile, maybe have a couple of sneaky ones popping up, still have that look, you can go out and just be like bing bang, three chain kind of look, or I could just remove all these shits. Just keep it real simple with a six millimeter and if you have a pendant, you could throw that pendant on that six millimeter and just switch up the look completely and you don't have to spend any more or any less because you already have the multiples. In this case, this one doesn't fit because of the box lock and this bail isn't big enough because it wasn't built for this kind of box lock Cuban link. So you got a simple 24 inch six millimeter that is easily a daily wear. There is no tension on the neck at all. It still has a nice profile. I prefer seven, but it's still great. You can easily just transition and switch up that look Easy peasy, one, two, three. Now we just went from six millimeters to 12 millimeters versus 11 millimeter big piece. What do you guys think? Is this your type of shit? Again, for me, it's stylistic, flexible, adds versatility, different options, pendant, no pendant, one without a pendant, one with a pendant, two change just stacked, three change just stacked, so many options. With this one, you don't have as many options, to be honest with you. It's either big boy pendant, no pendant, that's it. If your neck hurts, you fucked. You're wearing it the whole night. You're not gonna take it off and put it in your pocket. And 11 millimeter is just an example. This is more so for the big boys, half kilos and over. Those are the ones that you're gonna have that kind of neck issue. 1,000 grams, 1,500, those kind of issues, unless you have some sort of neck condition. And this doesn't just go for 11 millimeter. Obviously, you, you can use that same math and apply it to different millimeters, such as three millimeter options with lobster clasps or like two and a half millimeters in lobster class, multis. Let me know, does this $615 more give you a better look? Is it flyer to you? Is this something that would apply to you or is it something that you maybe didn't think about that you can put together? Let me know what you guys think. I wanna know your thought process and obviously I'll give you the three chain neck profile.
Let me know what you guys think. One big boy or multiples. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart, and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooches. Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. With a fly gun, hold a money folder, motor roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>